Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. One thing that I want to admonish you now, I'm going to talk about a game. And it's really the game of life, but I'm using this as an example, so go with me on this. When I'm shooting a game of pool, I like to play eight ball. And there's a guy that I used to shoot years ago. His name was Carlos. Carlos was so good, he was so tough, that if you let him get one shot, if you miss the ball once, you pretty much sit down and hang up your stick. Game was over because brother man is going to run the table one way or another. Bank shots, all kinds of shots. He's going to run the table. And you lose. So I had to practice enough to get to the point where when I shot Carlos, I ran the table on his behind so that all he could do was hang up his stick. And he would laugh and look at me and say, yeah, you working out, girl. I can see you working your game. However, this is what we do in life. You shoot and pull with the devil. One minute you're in bed with him. The next minute you're getting high with him. The next minute you're being entertained by, entertained by him. Keeping company with him. Hanging out on his turf in his backyard. Hey. We cool. Right? But. You slip up. And then Satan has. It's Satan's shot now. Now Satan is ruling the game. And you've got to go in a corner somewhere and sit down and watch your, yourself lose. You watch yourself lose because now you are no longer in control. Your opponent is. Satan is in control. He's pulling the shots. He's calling the shots. He's making the shots. Plump, plump, plump. And you're sitting up there saying, oh no, am I going to get another chance? Well, see, some of y'all have been so out of control with the masturbation or watching uh, X-rated stuff on the Internet, out of control, like a drug addiction. Some of y'all play with stuff not because you're addicted, just because you feel like it. Like, oh, what the hey? And then some of you, you don't take God seriously. Because we live in a dispensation of grace, you think, well, hey, God's cool. He knows. He knows my needs. Yeah. So you go get your little piece of tail. You go get your little pipe. Gamble. Beat your wife. Slap your kids around. Cheat on your spouse. Whatever you feel like it. Play games with your kids. Playing house. Like they're your man or your woman and that that's your child. So you're introducing incest into your family. And you think it's okay because nobody knows. And they better not tell. You're letting all of this sickness creep into your life. And it's everywhere. And the whole time Satan's got the pull stick. He's pulling the shot. And you're sitting there going for the okie doke. And he runs the table on you every time. And then you wonder why you lose, why you fail, why you fall so short, why you're so weak. You have literally given control to Satan. Willfully. Your mouth says one thing. But your life. And your choices say something else. When I shot pool with Carlos, I had to concentrate so hard to make sure I didn't let him get a shot. Even if I had to miss a shot, I had to use my position and leave that cue ball in an impossible spot. Where he couldn't get to it. 
in order to have a chance at another shot. But see, here's the sad part. The way y'all play the devil, y'all don't play defense. You don't play position. You don't plan ahead. You just play for the moment. Like many people who shoot pool, they play for the shot. Ooh, that's going to be a good shot. They don't think about where your cue ball is going to be for the next shot. They just want that shot. And they make the shot, and it's like whatever happens to the cue ball, oh, well, it just happens. That's the way you approach your Christian life. And you think it's okay. Because you don't have a village stoning you at the first sign of sin. You don't have somebody shooting you at, a, at an execution rally. So you think it's okay because God doesn't punish you, boom, right on the spot. So you let the ball go wherever it wants to go. Let the chips fall where they may. Oh, well, I lost that game. That's all right. I got another one coming. Who says you got another game coming? Who says you have another chance coming? Quit playing. Pool is a game. Your life is not. And God ain't playing with you.